Hi guys, I am Guru Manikandan from Anthony Martial Arts School. I am going to explain which martial art is the best. Okay, this question is the hypothetical question and there is no proper answer for this. But I can explain uh, which can be better to learn, which martial arts can be better to learn. Okay, so um, when we learn martial arts, there are kind of uh, martial arts out there in the world. Um, it's not, uh, I will not advise to stick in the same uh, martial art forever. It's good to uh, be loyal to your one style and for one teacher, but always it's better to learn different styles. So you may learn, uh, you may understand uh, different principles from different styles. Um, for, for example, I have learned karate for uh, almost 18 years. I have started learning different kinds of martial arts like Muay Thai, Wing Chun and Filipino Kishu uh, and Muay Thai and BJJ also. Uh, for past uh, 8 years I am training in different martial arts. But the difference between, I learned some, yeah I know. Okay, the difference uh, uh, I felt after I started learning different styles is, uh, it's too big. Um, I mean, uh, after I learned karate, I, I, I used to believe uh, the karate is best and uh, I can survive uh, with what I learned from karate class and uh, also also I was best in my uh, class and like 20 people in the class but I used to be the best performer in the class in sparring or kata or whatever but when I uh, faced a real situation uh, it was uh, it didn't work for me um, so after that I realized the number of years I spent to learn uh, karate was uh, waste of my time. And it's, I'm not talking uh, like karate is bad, karate is not useless. The way most of the karate uh, masters teach karate is bad. Okay, it's not the way they should teach. Um, if you if you practice uh, karate like uh, is karate sparring, uh, not reaching the opponent and practice, right? That is the same thing you will do in the street. You will not reach. That's what happened to me in, uh, in my first uh, street by situation. You know, I was trying to hit my opponents, and three opponents were there. Uh, three of them uh, started hitting me, and I was trying to punch them, but I didn't reach. I could not reach them. I, I'm kicking them. It's not reaching. I don't know what happened to me. So um, it was not my fault. See, in my in my in my dojo, I I did my best. But in the street, I could not able to uh, make it. So it was uh, so embarrassing for me. So after that, I realized I, I should learn some different martial arts like um, uh, like Muay Thai and that. And I trained them. And then uh, I felt a little better because I used to practice real uh, sparring. Then I uh, felt the difference. And after that, when I started learning Wing Chun and uh, Filipino uh, Kyushu, uh, I felt so amazing because uh, we don't have to use, after I learned them, then I realized that we don't have to use our power to fight. Okay, because when we tighten our muscles, we simultaneously tighten our mind. If we tighten our mind, simultaneously we tighten our muscles. So, any one, if you tighten, uh, you cannot fight. Okay, it will be stiff, you will be stiff. Your brain will not work as it has to be. So, um, you have to be relaxed to do the fight. Of not only the fight, whatever you do uh, in your life. Any work if you do, your mind and body should be relaxed. Otherwise, you cannot do it successfully. Okay, so when you do the fight, especially this is, this is for your, uh, a survival situation, maybe. Right? Uh, it may be a uh, life or death situation. So, you cannot give a chance there. Okay, if your if your opponent is not trained, if he is not skilled enough, it's enough to learn any martial art. Just you can use the power and hit and go. Okay, but if your opponent is very skillful in, in any other different martial arts, you need to know the principle of martial arts. You need to know how to keep your mind and body calm, and you need to know how to move. Right. So you must learn all of them, and especially principle of martial arts is very important. In, in most of the martial arts classes, uh, it's not being uh, taught. So it's very important uh, before you join in any martial art club, you should know what they are teaching and what is that and what is the real martial arts. It's, it's easy to uh, get knowledge from internet, but 
when you don't have any idea of, about martial arts, you look at a video of anyone performing. No, you may uh, amaze ab ab on that. You may amaze uh, about his performance, but he may not perform well. He may not perform uh, properly because you don't know what uh, what is martial art is. So you must study a lot about martial arts. You should study the principle of martial arts. Then you should watch a lot of uh, videos of martial arts and uh, performer performing. Then you will have a little bit idea of martial arts. Then you should start searching for the good teacher and the good version. Then you should join and then your journey will be good. You will uh, start to learn proper martial arts. So what I am trying to say is martial art which is uh, keeping your mind and body relaxed and also giving the proper training in a reality based fight. Okay. For example, uh, Filipino Kyushu and uh, tai, uh, tai Chi or Wing Chun, like that. But it's not just doing the farm, okay? I'm not talking that. If you're just doing the farm alone, it will look nice, it will give you, uh, keep your body and mind calm, but it's not enough. You need more practice with one-to-one, with, uh, one -one. with, with some partners you should practice. You should have the contact, you should have uh, the physical contact, different, uh, different types of partners. Partners with different level of physique, you should practice with them. Okay, some may be strong, some may be uh, relaxed, okay, some may be tall, some, some may be short. You should practice with uh, the flow drills, different flow drills to feel the energy, okay, do the energy flow with uh, different kind of uh, opponents, I mean partners, practicing partners. That will work in a real situation, that will improve your reflexes. Okay, natural reflex. We, you already have natural reflexes, but if you don't try well, you will not. Uh, you may not survive in a real situation. Okay, so it's very uh, important to uh, analyze more before you join in a, in a martial arts class. Um, I hope you understood something uh, from this video. So please subscribe my channel, like my video, and share it to your friends. Meet you in my next video. Until then, bye bye from Guru Manikar.